Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. In our latest edition of Ask Your Local Electrician, Brandon Hogan answers your questions about the holidays. This week, looking at your space heater. Take a look. How's it going, everybody? And welcome to today's episode of Ask Your Local Electrician. I'm Brandon with Electrical Specialist. And today we're going to be on part two of holiday safety tips. And we're going to be talking about space heaters today specifically. Um, of course, where we're at, actually all over, people have little areas of their house, whether it's an older home and newer home, there's going to be areas that aren't quite heated properly. So you're going to try to remedy that. Uh, we actually have one in our office. The air doesn't quite flow around like it's supposed to, so we use them as well. Uh, they are very handy, but we're going to go a little pros and cons on this to see what we can do and find out where we land on it. So on the pro side, they are very small. They are cost effective. They're pretty cheap, uh, and it's a way to heat a small space effectively without costing a whole lot of money or without running new pipes and furnace, getting a new furnace and mini split or something like that. It is a good temporary solution. Uh, on the con side, they are very dangerous. About 81% of all house fires from heaters are from portable space heaters. So we know this is the main culprit of what happens uh, during those. Uh, another con is they use a ton of power. Uh, a lot of people don't know this. They will say right on them, whether on the back or on the tag, It'll tell you how much they use. An average space heater draws about 1,500 watts, which if we use Ohm's law, divide that by 120, we get about 12 and a half amps. Well, an average home circuit is 15 amps. So 12 and a half is pretty much the entire circuit. So you gotta realize when you plug one of these in, that's all you can use on that circuit. So you just gotta be very careful when you plug them in. You can only have one plugged in at a time on that circuit. Okay, so we want to talk about some safety tips when you do use them, because of course a lot of us don't have much other options sometimes. So let's talk about how can we use them safely. Well, if you want to use a space heater in your home, you want to make sure everything flammable is at least three foot away. This could mean a drape on a window. This could mean uh, bedding or a pile of clothes. Not all of us get our clothes and our laundry put away after we wash it, so make sure that pile of clothes is at least three foot away if you're gonna be using one. Uh, make sure that it's UL listed. You can look at the specifications on the bottom of them. Uh, UL is an underwriting laboratory. They make sure that it's been tested, went through all the paces they can put it through to make sure it's safe for your home. So make sure you buy one that's UL listed. Also, a great feature to have when you buy one is make sure it has a tip switch. This is a feature on the bottom to this little button here to make sure that if someone does knock this over, a baby, a dog, it flips this switch and shuts off. That way you don't have it starting to burn a hole in the carpet in your room. Speaking of carpet, do whatever you can not to set it directly on carpet and exactly for those reasons we just suggested. If it falls over, we'd rather have it on a concrete floor or something where it's not gonna immediately start a fire. So the last tip I'm gonna give you guys on this before we move on is when we plug these in, we want to make sure to plug them directly into the wall socket and not into an extension cord or a power strip if we can help it. Reason being is most people have a standard lightweight utility extension cord and it's not rated to handle the wattage that's being taken across these lines. Um, if you happen to have one such as we do that's a more commercial grade. This is made to handle it, but I will tell you, the further it has to travel, the more resistance. So we had 12 and a half amps in here. We add a bunch of wire, we could have 15 amps and it might trip your breaker right off the bat. So the best thing you can do is plug it directly into the wall. If you're gonna use a power strip, it, go ahead and use one. Just make sure if you can that it's a surge arresting power strip. That's about the safest way you can use it if you're gonna use one. So let's just make sure that if we're gonna use the, these this year to be safe and use it the right way. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, hanging out with us. If you have any more questions or if you wanna know more about any of these subjects we cover, uh, go to our website at www.especialists.pro. There's tons of stuff on there to get you through it. 
Ask Your Local Electrician is sponsored by Electrical Specialist.